You guys know that I love automation, so why not automate YouTube, right? Okay. So you see here, um, I already got plenty of videos uploaded and basically it's pretty easy. I take the top Twitch clips from the past week for a specific game, cut them together with a nice transition and then just upload them here on YouTube. So yeah, how do I manage to do that? Um, actually, Twitch got a pretty nice API. So right here on the API docs, we can see the do get request and here you can specify the game, uh, the limit. So for example, I want to have the top 10 videos and you can also sort them. So by trending clips or by most viewed clips. Just gonna show that real quick. So here in the command line, I do curl request I only ask for um, limit one, so for the most viewed clip from Overwatch in the past week. And then as a response, you get the slug, difficult, vain, whatever. You get the URL of the clip, how to download it. You get the name of the broadcaster who did that. And uh, yeah, basically here's the VOD, the, the full broadcast from where it was took from and also the second where it was took from and all kinds of different information. Yeah, so in the next step, I thought, how can I cut those clips together? And there's this cool tool called FVMPEG, which, well, if you have a look at video uh, manipulation on Google, it's like the number one tool um, for doing such things like converting to other formats. But actually, I had not that much luck with this tool because if you have a look at my first VODs, for example, this Minecraft uh, one here, you see that the quality is kind of bad. And also another problem was that I wasn't able um, to figure out how to make a transition from the first to the second clip. This was pretty hard. So then I found that tool called MoviePy, which is a Python library. And I was pretty shocked because in my initial research, I haven't found that. And now concatenating two clips seems like so easy, just five lines of code. And you can also do transition there. Let me show you, we click in the code. Let's jump into here. Actually, it's pretty easy. You can just enumerate over all my clips and then I resize them to be full HD. So if they are 4K, they get cropped. And if they are like less quality, then they will just be scaled up. And then I do a crossfade in and crossfade out pretty easy. Just like, <laughs> it's like one single line of code. And here I just write the video output file and I'm done. So it's like really, really painless in video editing with this tool. I can just show you that in action right now. So here I am on my server calling my Python script and I say, do a clip and for the game League of Legends and with the identifier just for you YouTube. Hit enter. You see that it received the top clips. It is downloading them. And now we have to wait a little bit. And here you can see that it's cutting those clips together. I mean, this takes a while. It says like one hour left, but oh, well, maybe just less than one hour. But this runs on my server, so I don't care if it's one, two, three, or four hours because I don't have to do that by hand, right? If I go to the first file to the CLI, here you can see that every Monday, I, for example, clip it for Minecraft, every Tuesday, World of Warcraft, etc. So every day I have a new game and it runs on the server automatically without me triggering it and then upload it to YouTube. And how that actually works, I will show you right now. Uploading videos to YouTube seemed pretty easy in the first step because um, there's this YouTube data API and it also lets you upload videos. But the problem here is that every video you uploaded is flagged private. You need to have a verified YouTube API and I tried to get one. I had to email them, I think it was 10 emails, but in the end they said, okay, you can't get a verified API. So I was like, screw you YouTube, I will just do it otherwise without the API. And then I thought, okay, um, what are other things on how to automate that? I use Puppeteer, which I used in the past as well. It's just a tool which opens a browser for you and then clicks on some elements. The problem here is you actually open the browser. I mean, it can run in headless mode and then it doesn't even open the browser so it could run on my server. But if you run it in headless mode and you are logged into Google, 
somehow the YouTube page does not load. I tried it without being logged into Google. It was loading perfectly fine. And when I was logged into my YouTube account, the page was just blank. So I think that Google um, or YouTube, I mean, it's the same. They have some kind of mechanism that they permit this. And I was like, maybe there's a way around that, but I don't care because I have my Raspberry Pi here in front of me. And so I just grab the Raspbian Pi OS, flash it on my Raspbian with the desktop interface, downloaded Node and just thought, okay, this script is just gonna run on my Raspberry Pi and not on my server. And finally, there's a purpose for my Raspberry Pi, right? I mean, it's 35 bucks. Um, it can do some stuff. So let me show you the script I wrote to upload the videos. So it's a note file and here you can see in the CLI, that's just really basic CLI. I have this upload and this um, auto mode here, which is like running an endless loop and all the magic is happening in this YouTube file here. As you see, it's just going to studio.youtube.com and then clicking the upload icon and so on. Just writing things and text boxes, clicking on buttons. I will show you that right now how it works it's just a sample video here and uh, i commented out the last step which is actually submitting the video because i don't want to upload it i think i even uploaded it already um, just want to show you how it works so i'm not doing anything here hands free and as you can see my my mouse my cursor there is also not moving so everything um, is done by the bot here so i'm not doing anything It's just I'm um, entering the description and the title, which are auto generated from my script on the server. The auto loop does the following. It pings my server every 10 minutes asking if there's a new video on my server. And if there is, it's just going to download the new video, upload that on YouTube and then going to sleep again. And the next 10 minutes is asking again, hey, there's their new video. Yeah, we can see um, here it says it's finished. It closed automatically. So yeah, if you like this little product I did here and uh, I actually only got um, nine subscribers and not that many views on my videos, but I mean, this channel is growing over time without me touching it. Actually, in the future, I want to improve the video editing a little bit that, for example, before the actual clip starts, there's like a big rank five, rank four, rank two. If you got ideas on how I can improve it or some other ideas like interesting videos that can be automated just leave it in the comments below and i'm really happy to to code them and maybe you can even see me live stream coding them so you can also learn from that so guys have a nice day and i'm out